Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. Previously on Zero Time Dilemma, we began the journey to create a time paradox, as our minds began shifting through the dimensions. Okay, now everything is unlocked. We're... I think we are on the route to the true end, and that's connected to it somehow. This has been unlocked here. This little gap between green and uh, blue. For what I believe is... Q-Team. We still have some stuff over here that's not done. Some branches. And some branches over here. So for now, we're done with Carlos, for the most part. This is pretty much mostly done. So we have to hop back to Q-Team and see what's going on over here. Reality. Huh? Why am I the only one here? This is the time when Mira hey, went crazy and murdered Mira? everybody. Mira? Uh, Eric? Now announcing the current casualties. CT. Carlos. Akane. Junpei, Q-Team, Eric, D-Team, Diana, Vi, Sigma. These seven are now deceased. No! The X door has been opened and subsequently closed. The mirror the escape, of course. The escapee is Mira. No, no, that's a lie. The decision has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. There's a good chance we don't even have a normal head under what that. Is... It could Why literally be a robot. Why are seven people? Robot shift? You see, the more routes you see, the more flashbacks you'll see in these events. So they won't spoil things you haven't seen, and they'll be actually, I think, more confusing, or they won't unlock, period. What was all that? Why did I see C Team and D Team? And anyway, why am I even alive right now? I remember being stabbed by a scalpel. Do you truly wish to know? Zero. I suggest you come to the quantum computer now. Everything will be explained there. This pretty much confirms Zero is not one of us anyway. Quantum computer dome? Everyone's dead, Mira's escaped, Q is here. So Zero is his own entity, in contrast to the previous games. Still can't discount Time Paradox, though. You! You detest me, I suppose? You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I... I... I want to know the truth. Very well. What does the dog mean? What? What is this? Your spare bodies. My spare. They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. This is all pretty futuristic. No. Then. Then I'm. Precisely. You are not human. 
The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. Q. Quantum. Then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Then me not having any memories. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm, and it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. This is what I figured. Who was he? He was called Sean. The same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. Everyone's I connected see. to that one event. Then I'm, only the snail. I'm just a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension, and they may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um... Can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? I... I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh... What do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. You bastard. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer there retains all of the data that makes you uniquely you. Memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. Until the computer dies. is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. 
the original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. This is essentially One so of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Like, not even joking. Then, what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted without a trace. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? Your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have 10 seconds. There actually is a little bit of a seconds, moral dilemma here. And your future will be forever altered. One choice is essentially... I... I... Kind of letting your existence to rest, not having a false existence. Like through, like, the power spot, the pure server. And the other one... You're still kind of fucked, but there's, like, a happier version of you somewhere else. Present. I suppose a part of me would want to press it just because you're still alive in this world, and that means a chance for your to find happiness in this existence, aside from your server existence. Beginning transfer of program Sean Seven Two Nine to virtual space. Dog is always there. What's it mean? I feel like this is gonna mean like an actual ending. Oh no, the flow stopped. Oh, it cut off there. Wow. Then, where does that continue into? Isn't this the... Weird. Decision game, and there's the delete one, which is game over. Cinema into virtual space. I guess you get to choose? Weird. I'll try the other one real quick. So this is technically an end of consciousness, it's probably game over. Because always the goal is to keep your consciousness alive so you can shift. Doesn't look like you're shifting either way, but still. your decision then. It's fine. I just want you to end it. I would laugh if this deletes your save. Like some twist like that. I see. Then farewell. I don't think they're that mean for another game, but still.
Okay, they weren't that mean. Still, though. Maybe these fragments. Huh? Maybe he just wants to see an oh ideal God. world in the simulation. Sean, there was made you're awake. The world not affected by the I... snail. What am? Your surgery was a success. Your illness is completely gone now. Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you alright? Oh, uh, I think I must have had a really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? I swear. Yeah, we gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Uh, okay. Congrats on getting released, son. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready! Make sure to eat up! I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie! And mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks! Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my gosh! The game system I always wanted! And, and by the way, we've invited over Autobots. I wanted to read. You fought really hard against your own. We got you a pet dinosaur. So you deserve a reward. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. It's not weird or idealized at all. I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Dad and Mom, they tell me they love me all the time, and every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. Happy end. Wow. So there's no credits. It doesn't count. I think. Yeah, see, it's not a true ending. It's a happy end. And what's the other one? Oh, it's me in the real world. Uh... Zero? Why is it that I'm still on this side? In that virtual space? Flip I'm, of a coin. Well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Why, why am I here? Or a flip of a snail. I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. So books were his only friends. The boy had a special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. So, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. So was the same as wrong? Life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The boy just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. 
Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally... What are you talking about? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. But traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are you saying? The box. Be sure you remember that number. A time will come when it will be handy. What's the dog mean, though? No way! What's for his head? Actually, it makes sense. I kind of figured. I literally have no mouth, but I, in fact, can scream. So that's all done. Now there's really only one place we catch it can jump. What the? I think... I knew it! What is it? I it's a note! A note? Search the family portrait. Hey, no, it's just gonna be the events that we saw in the thing when they fight Damn in here. It. There's something special about this? The note said to examine the family portrait. Who is it from? The air vent connects to Ward C, so I guess. <sighs> Carlos. This picture must have something. Wait, maybe this is a trap? He did kill Junpei and Akane. He could be planning to... I told you to hold on a minute! Let go! Let go of me! Whoa! What the? A door. It's a door. What's a door doing here? If we go by the timeline correctly, no, Sigma won't budge. and Diana would be behind this door. The twins' birthday. Twins' birthday? Huh? Look, it's written right here. The twins' birthday, huh? Okay, I'm lost. What's the big deal? It's gotta be some kind of hint, I think. For what? Opening this door. But it's totally blank. There's no input screen or confirmation device. Yeah, we could no key pass holes, this information to switches either. Sigma. Hey! What are you doing? I'm checking Mira's body. Why? Well, maybe she was holding on to a remote, or something like that. Wait! Let me do it. Not creepy.
No. She didn't have anything. Huh? There's something on her nails. It looks like skin. And blood. What's that doing there? It's gonna be well, it there. doesn't look like she has any external wounds. So that means... This isn't Mira's blood and skin? Well, she must have struggled with someone before she died. The killer should have scratches from Mira somewhere on their body. Should I take my clothes off? <sighs> but it's pretty strange. What is? Well, I thought up until now that Mira had been killed while she was asleep. After she'd been injected with the anesthetic. But if she put up a resistance... Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero! When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. You bastard! Pleasant dreams. Damn, we get to shoot a spiteful shot. The twin's birthday, though. That'd be Eric, right? Isn't he like a twin? I'm pretty sure. Something opened up down here. Ooh, boy. Sigma. It's after 0230. I guess we're not going to be injected with the drugs. The game is over. There's no more reason to make us sleep. Akane will come back. Right? Uh, if she doesn't, then we'll be stuck here. Um, Sigma? Do you want to try again? Try what? Turning on the transporter. It's pointless. We've tried a bunch of times already. We did everything we could, but it's still as dead as a doornail. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly ten months to recharge. So, what should we do for now? I checked out the counter at the bar. Uh, seems like we're good on food for a while. How long will it last? Just wait here for With ten months. With eating, we'll have enough for nine, no, ten months. Wow, coincidental, huh? I did say frugally, didn't I? My calculations are based on half a can a day. Y you remembered to include Gab, right? Oh, he included the Gab, all right. There's no way I could abandon him. In a certain way, if you know what I mean. Let's rest for now. We'll figure things out when we wake up. You ever seen Excel Saga? You know where I'm going with this. Emergency rations. What is it? Does something seem different about this now? Like what? I thought there were balls inside here. Maybe it was your imagination? Now we can't use it as a bomb to like, blow it up and escape, see? Eat. <sighs> I'm not hungry. Just do it. Oh. 
Well, I knew you'd be in here. I, I actually don't really like this room. But when I'm here, I feel like there's a chance I could remember. Do you mean Phi? How did you... <laughs> I feel the same. For some reason, I can see her face when I come here. Do you... know what this is? Hey! That's Phi's brooch! Why do you have it? I don't know. It was in my pocket for some reason. And all the pieces fall into place. <sighs> Fi's safe, right? <sighs> I truly wish that's true. There's gonna be some time paradox where they have a kid in here. And Fi is born, and then like goes to the future through the frozen capsule and comes back to the past, technically. It's injected and then indirectly causes the future again. Please! Open the door! Open it! Why are you doing this to us? That's such a convoluted You can hear me! Can't you, Zero? I know you're hiding somewhere, just watching us! You could at least tell us why! Zero! Zero! I'm the product of weird quantum romance. I'll never meet my parents directly, but indirectly, by proxy. It's been now. Two weeks. You kept track? Because they're in there for ten months. I've been working the wall. That is enough time. It's been like a birth. It's so peaceful. Really? Does that sound weird? There's no war here. No violent murders, no rapes. No innocent children being abducted? Uh, it's all going on in the outside world, though. But at least this way, we don't have to know about it. That's why it's peaceful. No horrible bosses, no annoying drama between co-workers. You don't have to worry about seeing how happy your friends are on social media. Like... I have a new boyfriend, or my child just turned one. Look at all this amazing food I ate at this gorgeous restaurant. I got tired of seeing it. It's all just like this. That's... Do you know Materlinx, the blue bird? This is a music box using it as a motif. What is it? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. So, what about it is the same? You know how, in the end, the bird was in Tiltil and Mitil's home all along? They traveled all across the world in search of it. This feels similar. I guess... <laughs> I mean to say, happiness is closer than you think. In this shelter? Yes. I'm sorry, Diana, but your interpretation is wrong. In the original work, the blue bird escapes the cage and flies away. Happiness will slip through your fingers. The moment you believe you have it. It's implying 
that the process of dreaming is true happiness. Well, you just ruined my dream then. Great job. <laughs> Touche. Spoiled the mood for nine months. Sorry. You won't disappear, will you? Sigma? Not gonna eat it? Hey! What are you doing? Food gab now. I'm sick of only eating this crap that tastes like dog food. Diana. We've been trapped in here for a month now. What in the world is Akane doing? It's possible that she doesn't remember anything about it. I'm sure she still had the bracelet on when she left here. And if so, then there's a chance that Zero injected her again so she'd for- No, that's not it. Akane- Akane betrayed us! She murdered Carlos and Junpei, and abandoned us just to escape on her own. Maybe Carlos voted for Q-Team because she manipulated him into doing it. Diana, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Half a month ago, you were happy, saying it was peaceful. That was then. This is now. Has something changed? No. Nothing's changed. And that's Not problem. a single thing. That's why I'm annoyed. Yesterday, today, it's all the same. Same scenery, the same can. I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's all Rebecca's fault. She was the head nurse. Ugh, she was the one to suggest I join this experiment. I'm not so sure you should be blaming her. You had another reason for signing up for the experiment, didn't you? You're single now, but Diana, you were married before, weren't you? Yes. But why do you know that? She may already be when pregnant. When you were married, your husband often resorted to beating you. He was kill an alcoholic the ship. and recently unemployed. He screwed up at work, garnering a large debt, if I recall correctly. When the two of you dated, he came across as serious and kind. But no longer. He drank to his eyeballs, was always gambling and would laugh while he kicked and punched you. For no reason. That was his true face. Of course you left him. But even after the divorce, he persisted in following you around. He'd ask you for money, sex, and if you said no, he beat you black and blue. He's even stopped by the hospital cafeteria. You were having lunch with a coworker of yours. He showed up out of the blue, screaming his head off and flipped the table. Every time he went off on you, he'd always end with, I love you. I love you so much, Diana. And weep. His pain called out to you, and you'd always find yourself caving in. In order to cut all contact with him, you figured the only way it'd work would be to seclude yourself. That's when Rebecca brought it up. I heard about a job at an experiment facility called DCOM. So you- Stop! Stop it! What is the meaning of this? Why do you know? Would you believe me if I said I heard it from you? Stop playing around.
We've enjoyed the drinking, have we? You should probably stop now. Can't you leave me alone? Hey, what are you doing? You're not acting like yourself. You're the super weird one here. Ugh. It's been a whole month and a half. How can you be so calm about all this? I... I have some experience with this kind of thing. Stop talking your nonsense. Give it back! No. I said give it back! Hey! Look what you did! Hey, stop! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. You thought I was serious? Like, I'd actually like that? Diana, you're... I can't take it anymore! I'm so sick of this! Hey, sleep with me? Do you... hate me? Of course not. Then... sleep with me. Come on, hurry! Here we go. This is where it starts. Oh. I see. Beginning of the paradox. You don't have the balls, coward! Then... how about... Won't you kill me? Please. <laughs> kill me. What are you saying? I'd rather be killed by someone now than wait to die wasting away in this- Just cut it out! Wait! Where are you going? That knife is still there. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Diana. I could see how you felt. I knew you were crying out for help. But not once did I offer a hand. I couldn't. If we got too close, then I felt like something would shatter. You said the shelter was peaceful. That happiness could be found here. I knew you were putting on a brave face. In reality, the one who believed what you said was me. It's just like you said. I'm not brave. I'm a coward and a wimp. Deep down inside, I was scared of change. I didn't... I didn't want to lose you. Like that time. Like that bluebird. I'm so sorry, Sigma. <laughs> This literally means his whole relationship is in, in itself a time paradox where he keeps meeting his wife over and over again in a loop. The 
the privacy of the pod. I have a dream. You want to go to the moon, right? You've been obsessed with it since you were a kid. Even your name, Diana, comes from the goddess of the moon. Hey, Sigma, can you tell me now why you know so much about me? Uh, I've lived with you for three years. So I know almost everything about you. Huh? It's not your fault you don't understand. I'm talking about the future. But this history doesn't mean it's an extension of that one. So their relationship it's, uh, essentially extends. One. We can do different timelines. Okay, so it starts hypothetically. In the one where say right his now, arms get blown uh, off. On this knee. And if loops you over here. On the path, you'll only which indirectly reach the connects to that right one. Toes. You'll never go to the left ones. I was just talking about the left leg path. <laughs> Sorry. I started talking nonsense again. Sigma? Are you really from the future? You believe me? Yeah, I do. I think it rather makes the dream better. So, the arms blown off triggers the events that lead to the second game. Which indirectly I leads to the events of this game. Need to tell you something. Which indirectly leads to the events of that game. Sigma. <laughs> I may be Oh, you did amazing, Diana. It's a healthy boy. Wait, hold on. Something. I think. I think there's another. Twins. Cute. You're so cute. Yes. Who'd have thought you'd have fraternal twins? You didn't realize? Well, I did have a hunch. But I couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter, as I'm just glad you gave birth safely. Even in a place like this. It's all because of you, Sigma. One of the twins is zero. <laughs> Thank you. There's some stupid time Stop. paradox. I didn't do anything. Or something you silly like that. Gave me your food? As soon as you knew, I was pregnant. You were the one who did all the work. So everyone directly Thank created his own you. existence. Truly, I couldn't be more proud. At least it's zero anyway. You know how people claim unconditional love? I had to kill six billion people, so that way, that indirectly, phrase. you would go back and save six billion people and give birth to me. Lie. I thought there's no way something like that exists. Well, I'm a selfish bastard. Every time I help someone, in the back of my mind, I'm expecting recompense. Whether it be gratitude, praise, or a, for a higher power to approve of me. But now... I know. There really is such a thing 
as unconditional love in this world. There's no doubt in my mind that I'd give my life for them. Not for gratitude or praise. I don't believe in God, so it's not for God either. I need nothing in return. I don't care if I fade away. I just want them to be safe. And to survive. That's all I ask. They send the baby coffee back. Oh no! That's how it works! Gab, listen to me. You know that biscuit I just gave you? That was the last one. There's nothing else left. Thanks for everything. We've gone through so much pain. You always listened to me when I vented to you. You saved me many times. So, thank you. Diana, I want to show you something. Follow me. That's how Phi is older in this timeline. Then that would explain how Zero would be old enough to start up this game. Transporters turned on. I came by earlier and noticed it. It appears to be completely charged. Sigma, don't tell me. That's right. I'm transporting these two. What? Don't worry. Transporting them doesn't mean they'll disappear. <sighs> their original bodies stay behind after they're scanned. Then... Are you going to say it's pointless? We're out of food. If we simply do nothing... You understand? I'm sure you remember. But it'll take another ten months to recharge. So... You're saying... This would be the last time we can use it then? Which means, we can't stay with them. I know. Each pod has to hold only one body within it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. Where do we send them? Not the future. It's too dangerous. Exactly, it's then, the past. The past? There's no point to send them to the near future. Sometime before Zero obtains this device, they'll have to go before the year 2009. That's how everyone's age lines up correctly. My fine is older now. Oh god, this timeline's so screwed. Did you think of a name? What about you? name him if it was a boy, and you would if it was a girl. Then we'll start with the boy. Sigma, your name is from the Greek letter Sigma, right? So I thought, why don't we name our son Delta? My first initial is D. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter... Delta? <laughs> I like it. What about the girl? Oddly enough, I was considering a Greek letter too. I wonder where I'll be. Use the one that means the most to me. <gasps> Is it? Fine. I'd like to name our daughter after her. Fine. I think it's perfect. It's. Wonderful name. Oh, hold on just a minute. We gave them their names. It wouldn't be right if someone changed them, would it?
Let's... Fi's brooch. You're sending it with her? Yes. And Delta, I want to give him this. The Blue Bird Music Box. Are you ready? <sighs> Let's begin. So Zero Escape is always about finding the right timeline. No one creates these elaborate games without trying to purposely have people shift in a way to create a certain outcome. So, that's why Delta would have a vague interest in purposely putting everyone here at the right time, the right place, to create a certain outcome, because Delta wouldn't even exist without this outcome. And that's technically one of the endings. It seems like an ending comes up when the characters can't particularly shift. I would say it's when the credits seem to hit. When it's that timeline's kinda locked in place. At least that's one of the canon timelines anyway. But yeah, I'm going with that right now. I'm not sure if the Soul Invasion is Delta basically ensuring his own existence. Because there is concepts like that in the first two games about ensuring their own existence and the events fall in place correctly. There might be more. I mean, I'm not sure. Well, no, you would have to have the six billion people die thing, because that indirectly causes another little paradox which leads to these events. It must be kind of sad having your entire existence hinge and multiple time travel, conscience trampling paradoxes in one place. Um, you're basically... You're indirectly Philip J. Fry from Futurama. DN number two. Now let's look at the flow. Nothing particularly opened up, but we now have the information for when the twins were born, which opens this door. Um, we still have the codes to open the boxes, which you only know possibly one of, if it's the same code that Q heard. We'll still need to know about this one. I still haven't quite figured out that ending yet. Um, actually, I'm gonna try something. One more name that we've gained. Oh, it worked! I'm really sorry. Oh god, this is a crack ending. Sean, you... Out of all your choices, you kill him? Is this a joke ending? Adamdam... Foraska... Vnuska... Uva... This is yet... Another... Destiny...
Go on time. Perceptive end. <laughs> he was just slowly hiding behind a bookshelf. Well, that's... That indirectly spoiled things, I guess. Well, that's another thing cleared out. So we have the boxes. We have this. Uh, I'm not sure what triggers this. Maybe a jump. So we can't access this right now anyway. We have this here, which is number timeline. So right now, really can only progress down this route using the code we know.